Hi, YouTubers! Welcome back to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm going to continue showing you how we can access Microsoft Azure storage. In my previous video, if you watch that, you will see I already show you how easily we can access Microsoft Azure file sharing storage. How about Blob container storage? Can we mount it into Windows? How the accessing speed looks like? In this episode, I'm gonna resolve all those questions and show you how we can use Windows access Microsoft Azure Blob storage. Again, all commands and process steps will be showing in my blog post, which listed in this video description. Please check it out. Let's start it. Before we start the process to work on Windows access to blob container storage, we will take a look at this documentation from Microsoft NFS 3.0 protocol support in Azure Blob Storage, that is uh, September 23rd, 2021. So once you enabled NF3, so all the data gonna be stored as block blobs. That you know, network security, AD security and ACLs not yet supported. There's one thing I would like to show you is the known issues it says Windows Client for MVSS is not yet supported, but it is working based on my testing, even there's some issues there. So let's gonna check it out. So I already created uh, the storage previously. This is already have NFS3 enabled. If you haven't watched my previous video, you can check the video description to find out how we gonna create a storage for NFS3. Now, first step, we gonna register NFS to subscription. We gonna go into our share mode, and there's a small charges on that since we once we enabled share cloud share, there's uh, some little bit small charge on there. There's a storage gonna be created to store the session files. So we are fine with that. We are connecting to our terminal, trying to move the PowerShell window up a little bit. So please keep this in mind. Your CloudShare session will be ephemeral, so no file system changes will persist beyond your current session. But they still have some files temporarily stored on your storage, temporary storage. That's why there's a small charges here. Anyways, so um, we're gonna register NFS to subscription. So there's a couple of commands we need to run. Control Shift V kind of paste the command in. So those commands can be found out from my blog post. Those two commands gonna register NFS to your subscription and then you can verify with the last command so you can see allow NFS version 3 Microsoft storage it's registered so then we are good to go you're gonna go to our virtual machine we created in my previous video so we have our storage account both of them. One is for file sharing, uh, which has been mounted down to local. You can see this file sharing that's from my previous video. So in this video, we're gonna mount it our blob containers. This one, blob storage container. We have test blob folder has been created, but nothing stored in there yet. Now we're gonna install our client for NFS.
Let's go to control panel. Programs. Turn Windows features on or off. Next, next, next. Next. Client for an iPad. Next. Install. This probably going to take um, one or two minutes to get, get it done. Okay, installation succeed on Win Test 1. Close it. We're going to reboot our machine quickly and then come back, continue. Now we already installed the client on Windows Server, Windows Machine. Now you think we should be able to do the mount. So let's give it a try. So let's mount it. Storage name, Rob, call. Windows.net Storage account name And we need to put a letter So available one is Y So we put a star at the end of the command So then we mount our blob storage to Y Blob storage. Look here, we got them this message. We don't have permission to access to it. We can mount it, but we don't have permission. The reason why we didn't enable write permission to our NFS container. So there's um, two registry key need to change for the UID. Um, I already put those command into my blog post. You can get it from there. This is first command, and then we need a second command. After that, let's give it a try. We may need to reboot it to get those two register key working. So we will come back under reboot. So Windows just rebooted. Let's give it a try again. We're going to do mount command again. Mount dash O, no lock, blob, call dot windows dot net, storage account name plus container name, and mount it to an available, any available drive. As you can see, it has been mounted to Y. Now you can see our test blob here. That's the folder we created in our container before. So what we're going to do, we're going to test in speed. We're going to upload in this one to, this is almost 7.8 gigabyte. We're going to paste it in here to see how the speed looks like. As you can see, it's around um, less than 18 megabytes. So if we can take a closer look, it's about 140 meg BPS. Much slower than the normal file sharing storage speed. So it's working. It's still working you can mount it you can copy the data you can download it but once you're using this method the speed gonna be only 130 it's uh, much less than original 450 460 from file sharing storage 
There's a lot of work still need to do on this blob access using NFS3. It's not limited on a blob side, blob container side. It's limited on NF version 3 client on the Windows. The reason why is if we test it using Storage Explorer, you can see when we uploading this same file to Azure Storage Explorer, we are going to get our idea speed which we supposed to get. I already mounted using my subscription, so that's why we can see the folder here. Blob container, then we have folder blob storage. We can upload files or folders into this blob storage. The uploading speed is going to, right now it shows 1 gig BPS. I'm thinking that probably some cache behind it. Um, eventually it will gonna cool down to real speed, which is 400, less than 480. Right now it's 472 Mac BPS. That it is supposed to be. So let file transferring has been completed um, you can see the speed sometimes it goes high more than 2 gig bbs but then eventually you're gonna cool down uh, to the normal so that telling us the issue is sitting on nfs client it's not on a server end so windows nfs client is not supporting nfs3 well, at least for the blob storage. Uh, but at this moment, it is working. You still can use it. There's a problem now I can tell. The reason why even we can see the files on a folder. You see blob storage, we have this black. But if we want to change the name, it doesn't allow us to do that. Invalid device. It's giving me this error message. It doesn't allow me to change it. If I want to delete it, it's fine. But if you want to change the file name, it doesn't work. So far, that's the only issue I know uh, not working well. Um, but uh, again, there's uh, no security features. It doesn't support much like ACL, those things, but it is working and uh, you still can use it as long as you are accepting those disadvantages. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumb up and also subscribe my channel.